So I'm draining all of the oil because I don't want it to come in contact with the new gaskets that I made. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is part three of the R1 rebuild. If you haven't seen part one and two, I will put the links in the description below so that you can follow along the build process. In the last video, we removed a lot of the parts and we gave the bike a detailed cleaning. If you haven't seen it, make sure you check it out. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight into today's video.
Alright guys, so I'm draining all of the oil because I don't want it to come in contact with the new gaskets that I made. I want the sealant to dry out completely first. So while the oil is busy draining, I want to remove all of the discs and sprockets off of the wheels and get it ready for the painters. And then I want to remove all of the grease off of the plastic parts. So let's get into it. Alright guys, so the oil is completely drained and the parts are nice and cleaned up. Now I want to go ahead and put a thin layer of gasket sealer over the gaskets and install the new engine covers onto the bike. So let's get into it.
All right, guys, so the engine covers are on and the bolts are torqued to spec. Now the sealant needs to dry for the next 24 hours. I will also be sending in the tank and the wheels to be painted. In the next video, I want to give the bike a full service and see if we can get it to run. And so if you want to see that, all you have to do is subscribe and turn on all your notifications. You can also follow me on Instagram. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and remember to stay positive and be visible. Until next time, peace out.